provide safe isolation before starting a maintenance job. The methods of isolation are defined positive. If they use mechanical barriers, for example physical disconnection or blind fittings between the system under pressure and the section to be maintained or inspected. Proven, if they use only valves as isolation devices, but the effectiveness of the isolation can be confirmed via vent or bleed points before breaking into the system and for the duration of the isolation, for example single block and bleed, double block and bleed. Unproven, if they use only valves and the effectiveness of the isolation cannot be confirmed, for example, single block and double block. Scope and risks. The risk is related to the presence of a single barrier that is not sufficient to ensure isolation. This process safety fundamental applies in case of hazardous fluids, before, during and after the opening of the line for repairs or maintenance activities. In case of automatic valves closed remotely to carry out maintenance without the application of a physical barrier, for example, a blind flange. Operating instructions. When isolating equipment, Make sure that the method has been chosen according to the requirements of the specific procedure and in accordance with the work permit. In case of a high risk, check whether it is possible to work by performing a physical disconnection with a blind flange or, if foreseen by the procedures, work with a double barrier, for example using a double block and bleed. When the double block and bleed is not possible or available and the procedures allow it, make sure that the isolation is guaranteed, at least with a single manual shut-off valve, a pressure gauge and a bleed, assuring the intervention is supervised until the end. Evaluate if the valve handwheel requires mechanical locking to prevent accidental opening during operation or if it is enough a do not operate sign. Remove the residual liquid from the equipment. Disconnect the line and install a blind flange downstream of the single valve. Clean the equipment in accordance with the operating instructions. Also use the pressure gauge and level indicators to check that there is no liquid or pressure in the equipment. Start maintenance. After restoring normal equipment alignment, before resuming normal operations, ensure that blind flanges, plugs and double isolation valves are positioned at the free ends of the pipes, open nozzles of equipment, sampling points and vent and drain lines. If necessary, carry out a leak test to verify the tightness. Finally, remember that each isolation is specific and must be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. Reminder. This video illustrates basic rules to be observed during daily activities, company procedures, operating instructions and work permits govern the execution of each intervention. Not complying with them could cause damage to people, the environment, assets and have a possible impact on the company's image and reputation.